Hello everybody, Dinky Kang here with another exciting episode. Today's episode is about democracy. I love democracy. You can quote me here saying that I love democracy. Uh, it may come as a shock to you that the evil, tanky, authoritarian red menace loves democracy. But nevertheless, I do, guys. Uh, I want my democracy to be well endowed. I want my democracy to be hung like a horse, ladies and gentlemen. Which just so happens to be why I'm a communist. It's because I don't think that the so-called bourgeois western liberal democracies the likes of the US and Britain and whatnot are real democracies. I think they're shams, all right? It's a dog and pony show, all right? There's no fucking way that these are actual democracies under a capitalist system because in the capitalist system, the bourgeoisie uh, controls the government, not the people. So anyway, let me hop off my soapbox and Danky's going to read to you an article uh, uh, from WilliamBloom.org all about the National Endowment for Democracy. So it says, how many Americans could identify the National Endowment for Democracy? An organization which often does exactly the opposite of what its name implies. The NED was set up in the early 1980s under Ronald Reagan I spit, I spit when I say his name, fuck you Ronald Reagan, uh, in the wake of all the negative revelations about the CIA in the second half of the 70s. The later was a remarkable period, spurred by Watergate, the Church Committee of the Senate, the Pike Committee of the House, the Rockefeller Commission, uh, created by the President, were all busy investigating the CIA. Seemingly every other day, there were uh, there was a new headline about the discovery of some awful thing, even criminal conduct the CIA had been mixed up for uh, mixed up in for years. Uh, for more information about that, watch my video about COINTELPRO. Uh, the CIA is a fucking corrupt organization. I mean, that was the FBI, but it was still the feds nevertheless. The, the agency was getting an exceedingly bad name, and it was causing the powers that be much embarrassment. Something had to be done. What was to be done was not to stop doing these awful things. Of, <laughs> of course not. What was done was to shift many of these awful things to a new, new organization with a nice sounding name. The National Endowment for Democracy. The idea that the NED would do something overtly what the CIA had been doing covertly for decades and thus hopefully eliminate the stigma associated with CIA covert activities. It was a, mas a masterpiece of politics, of public relations, and cynicism. Thus it was in 83 the National Endowment of Democracy was set up to support democratic institutions throughout the world through private, non-governmental efforts. Notice the non-governmental part of the image, part of the myth. In actuality, virtually every penny of its funding comes from the federal government. As is clearly indicated in the financial statement in each issue of its annual report, Ned likes to refer to itself as an NGO, non-governmental organization, because this helps to maintain a certain credibility abroad that an official U.S. government agency might not have. But non-governmental organization is the wrong category. Ned is a GO, a governmental organization. Quote, we should not have to do this kind of work work covertly quote said Carl Gershman in 86 while he was president of the endowment it would be terrible for democratic groups around the world to be seen as subsidized by the CIA when he saw that in the 60s and that's why uh, it's been discontinued we've not had the cap capability of doing this and that's why the endowment was created 
And Alan Weinstein, who helped draft the legislation establishing Ned, declared in 91, A lot of what we do today was done covertly 25 years ago by the CIA. Uh, and I mean, to understand what the government was doing 25 years ago, I mean, look at, look at the history of Nicaragua. I hope they talk about that. Uh, if not, I'll have to make a video about it. Uh, in effect, the CIA had been laundering money through Ned. The endowment had four principal initial recipients of funds. The International Republican Institute, the National Democratic Institute for International Affairs, and the affiliate of the AFL-CIO, uh, such as the American Center for International Labor Solidarity. And an affiliate of the Chamber of Commerce, uh, such as Center for International Private Enterprises, these institutions then uh, disperse funds to other institutions in the U.S. and all over the world, which then often disperse funds to yet other organizations. So thank you, AFL-CIO, for fucking selling out and supporting imperialism abroad. Fucking sell out of a union if ever I've seen one. Jesus Christ. Does it feel good to throw workers in other countries under the bus as you prop up American imperialism? Fucking scumbags. Obstructionist scumbags. That's what the AFL-CIO is, ladies and gentlemen. In a multitude of ways, Ned meddles in the inner, uh, internal affairs of numerous foreign countries by supplying funds, technical know-how, training, educational materials, computers, faxes, copiers, automobiles, and so on to selected political groups, civic organizations, labor unions, dissident movements, student groups, book publishers, newspapers, other media, etc. Ned typically refers to the media it supports as independent, despite the fact that these media are on the U.S. payroll. If they're on your fucking payroll, that makes them affiliated with the U.S. government, uh, by definition. <laughs> independent, my ass. Ned programs generally impart the basic philosophy that working people and other citizens are best served under a system of free enterprise, class cooperation. What does class cooperation mean to the capitalists? That means you bend over and you let us fuck you in the ass uh, and then you don't complain, you don't unionize, you don't stand up for yourself, and you let the bourgeoisie dictate your conditions. Uh, collective bargaining, w once again, what does that mean to the U.S. government? Absolutely jack shit. Minimal government intervention in the economy and opposition to socialism in any shape or form. There it is, folks. They gave up the ghost right here and right now. This is what the NED's about. This is what the National Endowment for Democracy is about. Opposing socialism in any shape or form. What kind of shape or form? Uh, well, that's for the National Endowment of Democracy in the U.S. government to decide. Alright, fuck it. If a country wants to decide their own destiny, they want to decide their own economic destiny, well then that's anti-democratic according to the NED. A free market economy is equated with democracy, reform, and growth, and the merits of foreign investment in the economy are, <laughs> are emphasized. This is literally just... Uh, a, gov a, a, a CIA puppet organization for the explicit purpose of imperialism. They should call this the National Imperialist Initiative, the NII, because that's really what the fuck it really is. It has nothing to do with endowing democracy unless you define democracy as being just a pro-capitalist US puppet. So from 94 to 96, NED awarded 15 grants, totaling more than $2,500,000 to the American Institute of Free Labor Development, an organization used by the CIA for decades to subvert progressive labor unions. AIFLD's work within the third world unions typically involved a considerable educational effort, very similar to the basic NED philosophy described above. 
The description of one of the 96 Ned Grants to the AIFLD includes as one of its objectives, build union management cooperation. Like many things NED says, it sounds uh, innocuous, but uh, if not positive, but these in fact are ideological code words, meaning keep the labor agitation down, don't rock the status quo boat. The relationship between NED and AIFLD very well captures the CIA origins of the endowment. You know, these guys might have like, uh, um, this is just kind of a side note, but these guys might have like small penises or something because they call themselves the endowment, National Endowment of Democracy. Like, why do you have to go there? Why do you have to say endowment? That's a weird... You know, that's a weird term to use. It's almost like these guys are, are overcompensating for something. Uh, again, uh, if you do have a small penis, uh, I have a small penis. It's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's all good in the hood. But, again, it's just weird they use the word endowment. Anyway, uh, Ned was funded centrist and rightist labor organizations to help them oppose those unions which were too militantly pro-worker. This has taken place in France, Portugal, and Spain, amongst many other places. In France, during the 83-84 period, Ned supported a trade union-like organization for professors and students to counter left-wing organizations of professors. To this end, it funded a series of seminars and publications of posters, books, and pamphlets such as Subversion and the Theology of Revolution and Neutralism or Liberty. Neutralism here refers to being unaligned in the Cold War. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. And disgusting. I'm disgusted. Every time I think the CIA couldn't get any more bitch made, they fucking prove me wrong. These are some bitch made motherfuckers if ever I've seen it, ladies and gentlemen. CIA, they are the scum of the earth. The National Endowment of Democracy describes one of its 97-98 programs thusly to identify barriers to private sector development at the local and federal levels in the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and to push for legislative change and to develop strategies for private sector growth. In other words, to overthrow the government and put capitalism back in power. Critics of Yugoslav President Slotodin uh, Milosevic, a socialist, were supported by Ned Grants for years. In other words, CIA funded puppets. In short, Ned's programs are in sync with the basic needs and objectives of the New World Order's economic globalization. Just as the programs have for years been on the same wavelength as US foreign policy. Now the term New World Order is a whole bucket of worms, it's a fucking Pandora's box. That term's been pretty much destroyed by Alex Jones, I, I'm sad to say. Uh, you won't see old Danky here complaining about the New World Order. We could talk about the post-USSR World Order, we could talk about American uh, uh, supremacy, we could talk about... Uh, you know, capitalist imperialism and the international and national bourgeoisie uh, but yeah new world order I'm not going there dog I'm not treading in those waters because then you start talking about the reptiles and stuff economic globalization just as programs have been for years same wavelength as US foreign policy interference in elections so here is how the National Endowment of Democracy endows places with democracy by <laughs> interfering in elections. Fucking crazy. Ned's statement on principles and objectives adopted in 1984 asserts that no endowment funds may be used to finance the campaigns or candidates for public office. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but, in, but the ways to circumvent the spirit of such a prohibition are not necessarily difficult to come up with. As with American elections, there's a hard money and there's soft money. As described in Elections and Interventions chapters, Ned successfully manipulated elections in Nicaragua in, the 19, uh, in 1990 and Mongolia in 96, helped to overthrow democratically elected governments in Bulgaria in 1990 and Albania in 91 and 92. 
and it worked to defeat the candidate for prime minister of Slovakia in uh, 02, who was out of favor in Washington. And from 99 to 2004, Ned heavily uh, funded members of the opposition to President Hugo Chavez in Venezuela to subvert his rule and to support a referendum to unseat him. Uh, additionally, in the 90s and afterward, Ned supported a coalition of groups in Haiti known as the Democratic Convergence, who were united in their opposition to John uh, Bertrand Aristide and his progressive ideology. He was, uh, while he was in and out of office of the president. The endowment has made its weight felt on the electoral political process in numerous other countries. Ned would have, uh, would have the world believe that it's only teaching the ABCs of democracy in elections to people who don't know them. Because, you know, and the implication with all of that is that poor people and brown people and third world people are too fucking stupid to figure out how to govern themselves. Uh, the sort of Western uh, chauvinism that goes in to that entire sentiment of thinking uh, makes me sick to my stomach, makes me want to puke, alright? It's not that these uh, stupid brown people can't figure out how to do democracy, it's that every single time they try to do democracy, you have organizations like NED and the US government coming in and doing imperialism and stopping that whole process. Uh, global capitalism has totally fucked up their country, imperialism has stripped it of all of its wealth and resources and reallocated it to the uh, western bourgeoisie, and the people suffer for it, and they live in poverty and squalor, and it's because of the United States and capitalist intervention. <laughs> Let the people govern themselves, damn it. But in virtually all the countries named above, in whose electoral process Ned intervened, there have all, already been free and fair elections held. The problem from Ned's point of view is that the elections have been won by political parties not on Ned's favorite list. So you little fucking snowflakes, just because you didn't, uh, the, the commies won, uh, fair and square, you're gonna pitch a little shit fit, a little bitch fit, and you're gonna do, uh, the opposite of democracy. You're going to do authoritarianism. You're going to do terrorism. All right. You're going to do imperialism. The endowment maintains that it's engaged in opposition building and encouraging pr uh, pluralism. Quote, we support people who otherwise do not have a voice in their political system, said Louisa Cohn, a NED program officer. But NED hasn't provided aid to foster progressive or leftist opposition in Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua, or Eastern Europe, or for that matter, in the United States, even though these groups are hard-pressed for funds to make themselves heard. Cuban dissident groups and the media are heavily supported, however, because... You know, Batista was just a great fucking president. <laughs> Ned's reports carry on endlessly about democracy, but uh, at best, it's a modest measure of mechanical political democracy they have in mind. Not economic democracy, nothing that aims to threaten the powers that be or the way things are, unless, of course, it's in a place like Cuba. The endowment... Uh, played its import, uh, an important role in the Iran-Contra affair of the 80s, funding key components of Oliver North's shadowy Project Democracy Network, which privatized U.S. foreign policy, waged war, ran arms and drugs. What is this? The United States government caught funneling drugs and engaged in other equally charming activities. At one point uh, in 87, a White House spokesman stated that those at NED run Project Democracy. This was an exaggeration. It would have been more correct to say that NED was the public arm of Project Democracy, while North ran the covert end of things. In any event, the statement caused much less of a stir than if, as in an earlier period, it had been revealed that it was the CIA 
which was behind such an unscrupulous operation. Ned also mounted a multi-level campaign to fight the leftist insurgency in the Philippines in the mid-80s, funding a host of private organizations including unions and the media. This was a replica of a typical CIA operation of pre-Ned days. Between 1990 and 92, the endowment donated a quarter million dollars of taxpayers' money to the Cuban American National Foundation, a, the ultra-fanatic anti-Castro Miami group. The CANF, in turn, financed Luis Posada Cariles, one of the most prolific and pitiless terrorists of modern times, who's been involved in the blowing up of a Cuban airplane in 1976, which killed 73 people. In 97, he was involved in a series of bomb explosions in Havana hotels. And in 2000, imprisoned in Panama while he was part of a group planning to assassinate Fidel Castro with explosives while the Cuban leader was speaking before a large crowd, although eventually the group was tried on lesser charges. The NED, like the CIA before it, calls what it does supporting democracy. The government and movements whom the NED targets call it destabilization. And so that's what the National Endowment of Democracy uh, is all about. They are scumbags who support these color revolutions throughout the world that serve the explicit purpose of propping up U.S. supremacy and capitalism. Fucking disgusting. They are the opposite of d uh, democratic. These are fascist fucks, alright? These are imperialist scum lords uh, make no bones about it it's about as clear cut as you can get the NED uh, is a CIA puppet organization made for the explicit purpose of imperialism fucking disgusting disgusamundo